I've got some boxes. Hi everybody, Logan here again with another video. Well this time um, I've received some boxes from ZWO and uh, you know how I love unboxing videos. So um, let's get started. Oh, that didn't quite work. Let's try that again. This is taking longer than I thought. Okay, last time. Okay, so, yep, I've got myself an AM5 mount. Um, now, I know I'm late to the party, everybody's got them now, but um, this is my first harmonic mount, and I'm really looking forward to getting to use it. Um, I have got the sort of extension to go on top of the tripod so that no telescope will go around and hit the um, tripod legs. And um, this obviously comes with a few well, there's a plate on here which I've taken off already um, that was sitting underneath here which would uh, could go into the um, I think it can go into the uh, tripod that come that ZWO makes for this but for my situation I have to take this off so that I can attach this to the mount that I have which is actually the um, ioptron carbon fiber mount uh, which I'll bring over in a second it's got a few extra um, bits and pieces, there is an attachment here for a Skywatcher mount um, and, and then a few screws and things. So it's quite good that they've actually considered this to be able to be used on other tripods, either on a Skywatcher or an Alptron, so um, that's really good and considering that I had an Alptron one, um, saves me having to buy the ZWO one. Here I've got the AM5 mount which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. I won't go everything that's in here, USB cables, the hand controller, etc., and some Allen keys. Um, but what I was going to do is set this up on my carbon fiber tripod from my Optron and um, get this all mounted up ready so I can do some imaging. Right, so here is the uh, Optron carbon fiber mount, and obviously it doesn't have a place for this plate that was normally attached to the bottom here to slot into. So I've unscrewed this and what I need to do is line up a couple of the holes. I think it's these ones here, there and there, which I'll be lining up with a couple of holes on here. Um, it'll sit on here like so. And if I just turn this around here, um, obviously you can get in here and uh, screw that up um, using Allen keys. So we'll go and do that now. Okay, so they're provided with an Allen key, which is good. Now, when this comes off, you've got these sort of screws in here, but also included in the package are a couple of longer ones, as you can see, and that's so you can actually attach this to the Ultron mount. And um, oh, it's just got to line this up. These holes up. Okay, so that's all nice and secure on here. And then it's a matter of putting that plate that came off the bottom here onto the um, AM5 and then it can slot into here. So this plate here has to now go onto the bottom of the AM5. Okay, so it comes with these bolts in here, so it's a matter of undoing these. Right. 
Okay, seems nice and secure. And then we're just gonna put this onto the extended pier. And that's all done. Let's put it sideways here, like so. I um, think I'll just straighten it a little bit so that the front of the weight is over that leg, about like that. And tighten these. And there it is, all connected on the Ioptron pier, or sorry, Uptron tripod with the pier extension. So now it's a matter of putting the telescope rig on here, which I'm going to be using um, for the first light at some stage. Okay, so this is the rig I'm going to be using. Um, it's basically the Samyang 135mm uh, f2 lens, which I have set at about f4, so that the stars aren't too bad in the corners. Um, I have got a 1.25 inch filter wheel here with Optolong 7 nanometer 1.25 inch filters. I've got the um, ASI 533 mono on here and uh, the ASI Air Pro up here. And then this is an ASI 120 mono mini, um, which is going to be doing the guiding on this little um, QHY 130mm focal length um, uh, guide scope. Now, um, I've actually, if I turn it around a bit here, this is um, all 3D printed um, for the ZWO focuser. Um, and just a, a, a bit of a riser here to lift up the, the whole scope so I can fit the uh, when I say scope, it's actually a lens, but so I can fit in the ZWO um, focuser. I originally had this collar, which came off the Red Cat 51. Um, it was the collar that sort of came with the first iteration of the um, Red Cats, and for some unknown reason, they put the attachment for putting a guide scope and everything on the edge, which is not ideal for balance. You really want it up on top. Uh, later on they brought out versions that have um, this area here where you can put a little saddle right on the surface here. So um, I have ordered one of those which is um, here. I've replaced this one with this one here and then I'm not sure how easy it will be to, to see. I'll just move in, maybe you can see from here. So I've, I've attached uh, a saddle on here and then I 3D printed this um, twin saddle setup which I just got the files off Thingiverse and um, so that now I can sort of try and balance as best I can with the ASI Air on one side of centre and the guide scope and guide camera on the other. Admittedly I do have the focuser sitting out off to one edge here so there is a bit of a, a balance issue to a certain extent which I might have to address by just attaching a little weight uh, onto to here the side but um, that's what I'll be using to um, get hopefully my first light with the AM5. So here it is all set up so the Optron tripod the PE I think it's a PE 200 pier or 2000 pier I'll double check that uh, the AM5 and the Samyang uh, lens set up all ready to go I haven't actually sort of got power connected yet to um, try it all out but uh, I will that'll be my next step and um, have it all connected running through the ASI Air Pro so I just need to wait for a clear night and then I can get underway and uh, have a go with this new rig and see how good the harmonic mount is. I'll just quickly th run through some of the inputs on here which are, you've probably seen in other videos. Here is, oh, there's your status light which um, shows when it's on 
etc. Um, your USB out here, if you're running this to the ASI Air, um, that is how it will be sending signals from guiding to, to the mount to get it to move. There's an auto guider um, port here, but um, they're practically on all mounts, but nobody ever uses them now. Um, your hand controller plugs in here, and then this is your 12 volt um, 5 amp input. Uh, which is good having a 5 amp input because that allows you plenty of power then to run up to your ASI air which will then be controlling your peripherals. Um, if we just move the mount around here a little bit, um, this is the where you're going to uh, run your power out. Uh, so it says 12 volt 3 amp out so I don't know since there's 5 amp going in I don't know if it's only 3 amp coming out or 5 amp coming out says 3 amp. At the moment it seems to be enough to run the ASI air and everything attached to it, but I haven't done a full night's imaging, so, and that will just run up to your ASI air. This is um, where you would be, I think this originally was designed to be where you would attach your ASI air, but ZWA now suggests you don't use it because something attached on here could um, be damaged when the mount slews around so um, I'm not really sure what that's going to be useful from now on and um, if we just come around here uh, there we go that's just the on off button and I think everybody's familiar with how the controls work on here to uh, sort of polar align your, your um, mount so I won't go through that. Okay I just want to go through a couple of ways that you can connect your mount um, to your ASI Air and you can do it two ways. One is to do it um, using this USB cable um, going straight up to the mount. Um, so you're going over like a serial connection. Um, the cable that comes with the mount actually is quite long so you might want to swap it out for a shorter one so you don't have to worry about so much cable. But anyway that's one way of, of connecting and if we go into the um, ASI Air um, and we click into the mount here you can see that we are connected and uh, it's all good to go. If I come out and I want to connect to the um, mount wirelessly I can't. You'll see down the corner here that it, the mount is greyed out with an exclamation mark and you click on there. Now you've got a choice, it says here um, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is only for the AM3 not for the AM5 so you have to go by Wi-Fi. And if I connect in there, it says go to settings. I've got to change the settings and and um, get into the the, the Wi-Fi of the mount. If I go actually to settings and I click on my available Wi-Fi networks, I can see my ASA Air Pro, but these are other networks that are around me. But there's no mount network. The reason being is that you have to have the hand controller connected. So um, in order for the Wi-Fi to work. So I'm just going to unplug this connection here. And I might just unplug the USB out the back here so it doesn't get confused. So what I'm going to do is get the hand controller and oops. And I'm going to plug it in. You see it does a bit of a glow and then there's a light comes on. So I'm just going to set this down. Now I can see, you see it's AMH, that is the network of the mount. So if I click on that and I'll come into the mount software now. Now it shows I'm connected, you can see there's no exclamation mark around the little amp uh, mount symbol. So let's click on that and we want to set up a connection between the AM5 and the ASI Air. So we want to go down to the AMH management system and click into there. This can be a bit slow to load up sometimes but anyway the first page, your home page, tells you about mount information, your, your LAN information, um, what firmware uh, you currently have. You can click into this area for firmware if you want to update the firmware which I've actually done. The hand controller said it was up to date but the mount um, needed updating and it needed updating in order for me to do this connection. I had read that people were having trouble getting the connection to work between the ASI Air and the mount but they needed to update the firmware first so I did that and then you go into network and then you look for um, your ASI Air which is here and I'll click on that and it tells me to put in the password um, which I will put in 
and then I'll connect. And so it says I'm connected now. Notice this WLAN IP. You, you need to know this WLAN IP here because you're going to put that into the ASI air. So you just take note of that. So now we're going to come out of the mount software and we're going to go into the ASI air. So here I am and I'm going to click on the mount. Now it thinks I'm still connected from last time, now it realizes I'm disconnected. So click on it again. And what I want to do is the interface I want to change from serial to ethernet. Um, you can leave the port the same and TCP the same, but you've got to put in the IP address that was listed um, when you were on the mount page, when you were connecting to the ASI air. So I've put that in already, and then I'll hit connection, and it connects. And so now I'm connected wirelessly from the mount to the ASI air. So it's a matter of choice. Um, either way, you've got to have an extra cable connected that you may want to avoid. If you wanted to just use the, uh, the USB cable, then you're going to have to have a cable running from here up to the ASI air, and I would suggest getting a shorter one uh, to do that. Or if you'd rather do the wireless method, um, you are going to have to have the hand controller plugged in, but you can always just, you know, let it um, droop down there near the ground and um, forget about it while you're using the whole thing. So that's a bit of a run through on setting up my new AM5 mount uh, with the Ioptron uh, carbon fiber tripod and how I'm going to be connecting it to the ASI Air. Uh, really excited to try this um, harmonic mount for the first time. Uh, unfortunately, I'd like to have that in this video, but weather conditions seem to have deteriorated a bit and we've got cloudy conditions forecast for the next 10 days, but you never know, something might uh, turn up and I can give it a bit of a test out. So look, I hope you found this um, video useful. I know this is not uh, one of the early videos for the AM5. There's been plenty of them around, but um, you know, Maybe this is something new to you watching, or if you happen to have a, a, an Ioptron carbon fiber mount and you're thinking, how can I connect this mount to it? Well, this is how it, it can be done. And um, thanks very much to everybody who's been watching the channel and everything. If you're new to the channel, um, consider subscribing. That really, really helps. And uh, look until next time, where hopefully I'll be doing a first light with this mount. Um, I wish everybody lots and lots of clear skies.